Oh, well, bless my soul. What's wrong with this guy? Uh, tell me, that's not the creepiest thing you've seen all year. Uh, so me and Spooky Elvis have uh, a message from Autodesk that they're not communicating directly to their customers. Uh, they're leaving it to the, the likes of me and their resellers to communicate this message out. It's not It's not big news, mate. It's not going to affect that many people. Uh, it's one of those things that you imagine there's going to be a corner of the world who are going to be in absolute uproar over this, but uh, I really doubt it. So as of July 2021, next year, Autodesk are going to cease shipping any physical media out of their doors, right? So you're not going to be able to have any boxes, DVDs, USB sticks, nothing of their software. So they're going to be a 100% digital company. Uh, and my first reaction to that was, you could still request that. That was still a thing. Uh, what? Uh, why? What? Who's still, who's still asking for DVDs, <laughs> right? You know, I'm sure some people still do, you know, I'm uh, under no illusions, right? You know, different strokes for different folks. I mean, I've got seven PCs here and not a single one has an optical drive and that's just the world I'm in. But I understand some people still like to, to use physical media. But as of next year, it's not happening. Uh, you're not going to be able to request any. Uh, there will be exceptions for government agencies, strict, strictly for government agencies. Like not, They're not going to be allowing exceptions for that guy who who like kicks off on the forum and says you will lose my business unless you give me my boxed copy for, so i've got something to show for my money <laughs> right they're not that's not an exception uh so it's just going to be for government agencies but um yeah that's that's the news mate that's happening as of july 2021 uh 2021 <laughs> next year 2021 next year so heading on over to the Autodesk website uh i've i'll put a link in the description if there is one, uh, I'm recording this before the news has actually been released, so I, I don't know if there actually, I assume there will be some kind of announcement, but um, you've got sort of six months if you want to um, request the last ever boxed copy, <laughs> if you if you want to go and do that. I'm sure Autodesk will thank me for, <laughs> for, for you better fire up their printing machines because they might get an influx of, uh, of requests, eh, you know they're not going to be worth you can't sell Autodesk software right it's not it's not legal to do that so it's not like you can do that and it'll be worth something it just might be a nice little nostalgic thing to have right you know the last ever physical copy of AutoCAD the last ever physical copy of 3D Studio Max or, or whatever right but um it's, so that's happening on July 2021 who's going to be affected uh, not many people right you know some companies or some people probably mostly solo contractors who you know, they buy their license or they subscribe to the license and it's a very big investment to them. Uh, and they treasure that, they value that highly. And they like to have something physical and tangible to show for it. It's probably those guys who are going to be most upset with this. But those guys have had to request, as you've seen from this page here, they've had to go out of their way and request a copy of the uh, of the physical media. Uh, if you're a subscription customer, you you had to go through your authorized reseller to get a copy of the, the physical media. But uh, other than that, I, I don't know of anyone who still uses boxes, right? I mean, even 10 years ago, and we're talking a long time ago, the physical CD was essentially obsolete a couple of weeks after it was released. This is just how software is these days, mate. That physical CD is a snapshot in time of when the software was released to manufacture on day one. Look at how many updates and patches and service packs are released over the course of a product's life. And that product's lifespan is, what, three years? I think it might be five years now. Like how, how much must you need to download from the internet to get that CD up to current, you know, safe, up-to-date spec? You know, you might as well have just downloaded it from your, your Autodesk account instead of installing it from the CD because what you install from the CD will essentially have been completely replaced from the downloads that you've had to do to get it up to date. Uh, you know, other people will see that differently. You know, I, I still want my physical CD because it's something that I own. I've got it here and I can install it, you know, offline. I don't have to download stuff over and over again. And that's that's fair enough, but you still do have to download your update. You can download the updates once, right, and then keep them. But, you know, in some cases... Uh, the likes of 3D Studio Max, the likes of uh, VRED uh, and some other, like Alias, for example, when they release a quarterly subscription update, you're essentially re-downloading the entire software. It's the entire package again, right? So the CD, it, you might as well throw it in the bin 
because you are re down You have to uninstall what you installed off the CD and reinstall from the download. That's uh, by the way, they're going they're going this way. There's nothing you can do about it. Why are they doing it? Uh, well, you know, they say that they're doing this because they want to be. Uh, you know, it helps reduce their collective carbon footprint and prioritizes customers' preferences, blah, 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 blah. I mean, it's it's, a, it's cost-cutting. You know, they want to be 100% digital. That's fair enough. And all of the machinery, the systems, the back-office stuff that they've got, which is there and available in the event that a customer requests the physical media, they don't want to keep that going, right? They want to get rid of all that. That gets rid of the cost. That's that's why they're doing this. You know, just taking the leaf out of Apple's book, it helps our collective carbon footprint, mate. The, the amount of boxes and CDs and USBs that are leaving Autodesk really is not going to be that significant. They could prove me wrong. Actually, we ship 300,000 CDs. That's a lot of vans and a lot of trucks. Oh, okay, right, fair enough, right? You know, I could be proven wrong on that. But there you go. That's um, that's the news. You've got till July 2021 to request that if you want to do that, just to shoot out that last final burst of carbon in the environment if you, <laughs> if you want to get your box done. Uh, and speaking of licenses, uh, if you want to support TFI, uh, in the description is my Autodesk affiliate links, which means that if you do buy an Autodesk license or renew an Autodesk license, if you click my link in the description, that takes you to the Autodesk store. It also shows you the discounts and promotional offers and whatnot uh, with no extra cost to you. If you renew or buy an Autodesk license after clicking my link, it doesn't cost you anymore, but then Autodesk go, ooh, thanks for sending this guy or girl to us. Here you go, Neil. Here's a little kickback. Here's a little cut. A little bit of commission for sending them our way. And then that keeps my channel going. So those links are in the description to the Autodesk store. And I thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one. That'll do it for me. That's all I've got. Toodles.